Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Collins is out there with Markinen. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then it's George, and it's Abaji in at the small forward position. And for the Pelicans, Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Dallin Junis. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. And it's Hawkins in at the one spot. Always exciting to see two teams with bright futures, Greg. Young stars hungry to prove themselves. And Kevin, the hungrier, the better, if you ask me. When you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court, very special things can happen. And here's Clarkson. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. Arkanen passes to Abaji. Kicks it out to Markinen. Five on the clock. And it's Williamson with the rebound. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. They grab their own miss. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A wily move by Ingram. Able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And 88 from the line a season ago. He was one of the best shooters in Super the league. And that one misses. And battling injuries off and on throughout the years. Ingram is a major difference maker when healthy. And he sinks the second. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to Whoa! Look out. I mean, that's a rugged play. That's straight toughness. Already such a well-coordinated athlete for his size and age. Williamson bringing down the house. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. We play just over a minute here in the first. Passes it to Collins. All alone. Count it. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Pass to Valanciunas. Hawkins with it. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Bobbed up there for Collins. Not just a score. Clarkson is very willing to dish it when a teammate's open. Here's Hawkins. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from George. Pass to Abaji. And it's Williamson with the rebound. The Pelicans have gone two for four from the field so far today. Jones dishes to Williamson. We've got 155 left here in the first quarter. I'll, I'll tell you, Zion can do that all night. Terrific offensive rebound. Williamson's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Clarkson kicks to Markinen. Out to Clarkson. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You look at Texas. They're down in ninth place so far, still early in the season. And, of course, there's Utah, a game behind. And I think for the Jazz, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. All talk, no walk. Simple as that. They just don't match up with the better teams in the NBA. 
Stolen by Collins. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. For Clarkson, it's been about finding a place in the NBA that suits him. You know what, Kevin? That is often the case for players who are not superstars, but are quality players. Jordan Clarkson came into the league with the reputation as a gunner. But here's a guy who can fill in as a starter, he can play off the bench, and he's always willing to accept his role. They throw good, Clarkson. And a guy who's bounced around the league a bit. Clarkson tightened up his game, and now he is a key factor in what this team does. And New Orleans going with a whole new group out there. And so he hits both. And the Pelicans with possession here. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. I'll tell you, they played hard. They drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. One of the things that you know when you miss free throws is you're giving the team opposite you all the momentum. You're failing to capitalize on their mistakes. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary, even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. Pelicans leading by four. Lewis down low. Defended by Horton Tucker. And that one is off. Chaz have gone two or six on the field. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Olenek, one up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. You know, I like the fact that Olenek didn't shy away from mixing it up. Remarkable at scoring despite getting hit. Sexton against Lewis. To the wing on the left. Zeller with it. No good with the layup. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Pelicans lead by two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. There are many ways to build a team, as we know, Doris. Do you prefer building around a star or a more team-based approach? I think, Kevin, what we have learned unequivocally is that it is not just about collecting talent. Certainly, you need star players to win in the NBA. But so much of this is about how do the pieces fit around. There is a reason it is a team sport, Kevin. Don't overlook the role players around those stars. Brandon Ingram's out there with Herbert Jones. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Daniels. And it's Hawkins in at the one. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Laurie Markkinen has gone from a bit player to a starring role on offense. He says it's something that I have to get adjusted to, but going forward, I have the room and the mentality to be more aggressive. When I watch film, I always see things that can become so much better. I have a long way to go and a lot of room to improve. Kevin? All right, good stuff, D.A., thanks. Bobbed up there for Collins. He takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. Here is Daniels, defended by Sexton. Hawkins against Dunn. Just five on the clock. 
from deep three-point land. Got a piece of it. Here's Abaji. Defended by Jones. Down against Hawkins. Dunn misses. The Pelicans have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Shoots from 12. And Ingram with the basket on the assist by Hawkins. Ingram's got five now. And I love it when Ingram works for that high percentage look. Such a high basketball IQ. Here's Markinen. Good work defensively by Jones. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Fast break, here they come. Here's Dunn. Drops it in from 11 feet. Well, Chris Dunn, remarkably comfortable in the mid-range. You get him the ball in that spot, he'll take care of the rest. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. The Pelicans have gone 2 of 6 from the field in the second quarter so far. Daniels kicks to Hawkins. 102 left in the first half of basketball. Jazz have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Dunn passes to Markinen. Here's Abaji. There's the lob to Markinen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Brandon Ingram. I'll tell you, good physical play from Markin that right there puts the defense in a bad position and gets the whistle. For Utah, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. What I'm always impressed by, guys, is Markinen's versatility. The guy can face up and make jump shots. He can be enough of a presence on the interior that you're very comfortable with him in this modern NBA game. And Markinen drops them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Lewis against George. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And the Pelicans miss again. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Here's Horton Tucker off on the layup. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Down low. And it's blocked. I think this is the next step for Markinen, right? The ability to improve your defense and become a real factor. Sent it back. Horton Tucker finds George. A three-pointer, no good. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Jazz leading by just two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are finding me. I think I'm doing a good job of trying to, you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard. Uh, being an athlete above the rim, and I think, like I said, my teammates are finding me. I'm doing a good job of finishing. You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. 
Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. What did you think about Utah, Kenny? They were simply the better team on the offensive end. Every time the defense made an adjustment, they would make an adjustment on offense. Winning that little cat and mouse game, they'll be difficult to beat. And Shaq, how'd you think the Pelicans were playing? Give them credit for keeping the score this close while shooting just over 30%. In the backhanded way, kind of gives you confidence because you know if you bring your percentage up just a little bit, it'll be enough to get you in front. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. One of the stories here, John Collins getting it done today. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's Will Hardy's five. Lowry Markinen is out there with Collins. Then it's George. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's Abaji in at the three. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Williamson is skilled at finishing on the defense. Markinen down low. Working on Williamson. Markinen, good. Markinen's got the lead up to two now for the Jams. How about that? Markinen able to take the contact and play through a big time finish. Jones in the post. He's covered by Clarkson. And it's Jones. That's on the assist from Valanciunas. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. Not, <laughs> nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far, guys, in this one. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. The Jazz making a switch here. The three-point game such a big part of the NBA. Let's see the best teams at it. Then third, the Jazz. No doubt. They have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Here's Sensible. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. It's Hawkins on the wing. Back to Ingram. 
Now the pass to Hawkins. Here's Williamson. Second shot opportunity. And Valanciunas with the layup. And the Pelicans lead by four. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Pass to Sensible. Bobbed up there for Collins. And finish off by Collins. With soft hands and, and great recognition, Collins is the ideal big for a pick and roll. There's 138 left in the third quarter. Collins against Hawkins. Stolen by Collins. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Sensible. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And you can see the importance of that steal. Really a four-point swing with the conversion at the other end. Timeout, timeout. Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. Greg, this Keontae George is explosive. When he goes in the paint, he is like a wrecking ball. Very physical driver for a guard. Can be streaky, but boy, when he heats up, watch out. A moment here to see the numbers for Olenek, averaging about seven points, five rebounds, and three assists. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. Zeller finds Jones. New Orleans moving it around. Lewis down low, defended by Horton Tucker. Here's Daniels, and there's the feed to Zeller. Outside for Lewis. With one second left. On the wing, Jones. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Jones has got four points now in the quarter. Utah trailing here. Passes it to Olenek. Now, Horton Tucker. Down to five on the shot clock. Clarkson for three. And Jones pulls it down. And it's Jones with the ball for the Pelicans. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Who is outside? Drives to the hoop. And easy two points on the layup. And it's a four-point Pelican lead. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Here's Clarkson. Missed. And we've reached the end of the third. Pelicans lead by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Jazz trail by four. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. Hawkins is out there with Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the five roaming the paint. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. George finds Collins. Lock at six. Goes back up. 
It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And becoming a true force on the offensive glass. Love how hard Collins goes after those second chance opportunities. Ingram outside. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebounded by the Jazz. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And he knocks down the first one. Sexton, he's checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. That's good as he hits both of his shots. The Pelicans shooting 41% for the game. George against Hawkins. Here's Jones. Sexton grabs the board. Inside. And finished off by Collins. And that's two tough points from Collins. Willing to mix it up down low. Hawkins passes to Valanciunas. He kicks it to Jones. He takes it in. Second chance shot. No good from Valanciunas. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Shot by Collins, no good. The Pelicans trail. Ingram passes to Hawkins. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass to Williamson. Over Sexton. That's good for Williamson on the assist by Hawkins. Hawkins has got three assists tonight. Jazz have gone two for five. Ron field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Here's Markinen. Pops in the layup for two. Markinen's got the lead up to two now for Utah. Okay, Mr. Markinen coming through in the clutch. We see you, young sir. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to. To blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Tyson Daniels checked in for Jones. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for the Jazz. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Now here's Williamson. T right on him. Ingram passes to Williamson. From in close. That's it five. Rebounded by Clarkson. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. It counts. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Timeout call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 56 seconds left in the fourth.
And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, John Collins. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Man, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Guys, here's what Willie Green was doing in reviewing the plan with his team. Now, Coach was still pretty positive. He told his guys a handful of shots completely changes this game. Just a few good minutes, and we're right there. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. The big man, Balanchunas, can he get the job done at the line in a big spot? Balanchunas hits them both. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Here's Clarkson. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Off with the layup. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. I'll tell you, they'd better come up with some points on every possession from now on. And he commits the intentional foul. we got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And an intentional foul right there. He had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's the first that makes it a three-point lead. Absolutely the player they want on the line right now. Jordan Clarkson, a great free throw shooter. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. Timeout call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so here is New Orleans, trailing by four. Ingram, it's good! And he has brought them to within two points. And how about the focus of Ingram? Not getting overtaken by the heat of the moment, nailing the shot in the face of the defender. Shooting two. First 
free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And I don't think John Collins is a guy who gets flustered easily. Well, let's see how he does at the strike. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. 15 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Ingram kicks to Hawkins. Williamson from long range. No good on that one. Excellent D there from Markinen. And now they foul and stop the clock. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. And Ingram puts up a deep three. It's off. So we see the Jazz get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Owens, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.